Gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Sampling Samples, or Double S for short. Um, if you haven't checked out any of these videos, this is a pretty simple, guys. Um, I just uh, pick up a couple of my samples here and there uh, from the bunch of samples I have kicking around at home and basically give you guys like a first impression. I might have wore it once, twice, or three times, most at the most three times before I shoot this video. So it's a really quick first impression video, mostly niche. Um, they're either from Lucky Sandman, New York, all that. Now today is actually my birthday. And um, as you can see, kind of casual, just kicking around the house with, uh, today all I wanted to do is hang out with my wife and uh, my boy. And um, my sense of the day today, of course, is uh, Le Mal, usually on my birthday when I'm casual. Um, I'm gonna wear Le Mal on my birthday and uh, hang out with my wife. That's one of her favorite scents. So um, basically, I'm wearing Le Mal and some of this. Um, Atelier's uh, Mistral Patchouli. Now, this is of course uh, from Atelier Cologne. Uh, this sample actually comes from my uh, newest uh, sample haul, I would say, from Lucky Scent. Um, I usually do this from time to time. I'm going overseas, it's about that time now. I'm going overseas in the next few weeks and I usually buy like 20, 25 samples from Lucky Scent of uh, new fragrances that just came out or fragrances that I was interested in and I want to get a sample and sniff it out overseas. Um, this is a, a new release, I believe it's 2013 if I'm correct, might, might not, 2013 or late 2012, this is a new fragrance. Um, I just really wanted to check out the newest Atelier uh, fragrance. I uh, sniffed out the whole house back in 2010 I believe, that's when they first started. Um, I got samples for the whole line and I only purchased one fragrance from the whole brand. That was their orange based fragrance which smells like orange juice, uh, orange sanguine. Um, and I kind of wanted to give this house a second chance, wanted to sniff out again at Tilly, because you know, these little samples, you know, wearing it two, three times, really, sometimes it gives you the full story, sometimes you revisit it and you're like, wow, I can't believe I missed that. So I like doing that with niche houses here and there. Um, and I started out with this guy. I wanted to see what their newest fragrance gave me. So this is kind of like a backstory on this one. Um, pricing for Mistral P P P Patchouli, um, they're doing great right now as far as bottle sizes. They got various bottle sizes, 30 mils, 100 mils, 200 mils. I know they didn't have the 100 mils, but just lately they finally introduced that to the American uh, public. Because uh, I know Lucky Sand only had the 30 and, and 200 mils, and that's why I got a 30 mil of the orange based one, um, which is kind of pricey to be honest. They're 70 bucks for 30 mils. I like, I like the 100 mils, which are 125. That's probably what I would be getting if I got another Atelier fragrance. And then they got a lot of juice, 200 mils for 185 bucks. Um, unless you're doing a split or it's your signature scent, um, I would go with the 100 mils. That's your best bag for the buck. Or you can get uh, a little sample like this, which is pretty pricey. It's uh, $4, but it gives you a good uh, two or three wearings at the most um, to, to really find out what the scent's all about. I, I think it's priceless to have these little three, four dollar samples and uh, check them out. So this guy right here, I wore it uh, twice. I wore it uh, two days ago and I wore it yesterday and uh, today I'm just gonna wear it on my hand um, to just really remind me of this uh, fragrance. Now Atelier Cologne, uh, Atelier brand, I consider this a marine-like fragrance. And when I saw that, I'm like, well, patchouli-based fragrance, how marine is this gonna be really? If it's patchouli-based fragrance, how light is this gonna be really? Because uh, patchouli is more like, it depends, uh, more earthy, green fragrances. Um, so let's let's sniff it out, and I'll let you guys know what I got from it, my first few wearings too. Now, <clears throat> some people at this introduction got a huge blast of citrus in the introduction. I was like, what are they talking about? The past two wearings that I wore this, I got no citrus. I went straight to star on ease in this introduction. Um, but today, before I did the video, I put some on my hand just to remind me of what it was and I got the grapefruit that sparkling grapefruit I know it was in the notes and I was like I don't get any grapefruit now I do today my third wearing um, it punches you in the nose with the grapefruit now that doesn't last very long two minutes tops not even and then the star knees starts taking over now the star knees punches like it's all star knees guys it's, that's all it is black licorice over blast in this fragrance in this introduction like for the first like 20 30 minutes this thing is just Starnies, Starnies. Um, if you don't know what that smells like, um, basically a designer fragrance that has a lot of it also, Lolita Olympico Masculé. That'll give you a good um, rendition of what you're, you're going to be sniffing here, but this is overblast of it. Overkill, to be honest. Um, now, 
is very bracing, uh, this introduction, so I, was, I couldn't wait till this starts drying down. Um, now, as far as the star anise goes, I like it more as a secondary note in my fragrances. Some people will actually love this because there's a lot of it, um, but I really didn't like it on its own like this, and it was really bracing and taking over the whole fragrance. Like I couldn't smell any of the secondary notes or anything else. Um, now, where's the patch? That's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, where's the patchouli in this fragrance? This introduction's showing nothing. Let's dry down a little bit. Once it dries down, I'm starting to feel a little bit of green here. Um, there's geraniums, of course. The anise is still kind of powering through in this fragrance, um, but it slowed down a little bit here in the dry down. Uh, there was a bit of black pepper to give it a kick. Um, I really like the black pepper kick in here. Um, really nicely done. And I was kind of hoping for an earthy patch to, to come through in this, but nothing doing, guys. This patch, if it's there, it's weak. Um, really, if you're looking for patchouli-based fragrance, look elsewhere. Um, it was really hard to find, and it was really kind of more of a leafy greenness, almost vetiver, not even vetiver-like. It was really light. Um, it felt fresh after a few hours, like the anise was... Uh, kind of bracing, but it felt a lot fresher after a few hours. It felt green without being really earthy, and it had a little bit of woods. Um, it's really a safe scent after the anise blowout. <laughs> after the anise calms down, it's more of a safe scent. can be worn for spring. Um, I think that would be the best season for it. Sadly, not for me. Um, where's my big bold patch? It's not in here. Uh, look elsewhere. Um, staying power with this fragrance, a lot of people were saying they were getting good staying power. With me, it was poor. Um, it did not last at all. It was like probably at the most two to four hours when I was wearing this. And no one can really smell this one off me. Um, maybe I have to pour the whole uh, vial on me, but uh, definitely um, not really good as far as staying power. And even then, when this dries down, I really don't want this to project that much anyway. And even though it would go five to eight hours, um, I, this story, I, it got long pretty quick. Um, the good, if you love Star Anise, You'll love this. Um, it wasn't really for me, honestly. Uh, the bad, um, the introduction, um, too much. Um, starting to use overdrive and, um, and the patch. Um, no patch, there's nothing. Uh, final take, bottle, is it bottle worthy? Am I gonna get another sample or is it a pass? Um, this was highly disappointing. It was a pass for me and it's going to be a pass for a while. Probably not gonna check this out anymore. Uh, for patchouli lovers out there, uh, walk away since this is not a patchouli based scent for me. Uh, for anise lovers, this might be right up your alley. It's actually, it has it in bunches. Should have been actually just called, instead of Mistral patchouli, should have been just called anise overdrive. Um, no, nah, not for me guys. A Mistral patchouli, a pass from the house of Atelier Colognes. Thanks for watching, boys.